What's up guys? It's Milana. Welcome back to my channel. Say hello to Koa! We just arrived at one of my favorite parks, so when I finish filming this video, we're gonna go play at the park. He's obviously so excited. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my story of how I got into manifestation and a little bit about my dark night of the soul um, to inspire you. So going back to the worst night of my life, we'll start there. So it's in 2021. Um, I was in a secret relationship with this guy and the reason it was secret is because I knew he was bad for me. I knew he wasn't a good guy, um, but I didn't love myself and I didn't have like the self-respect to not be in a relationship with him basically. At the same time, I was also working like 12 hours a day, seven days a week, running these two businesses that were actively losing money. Um, and I lived in a state that I really didn't like in a house, in a really crappy house, um, with just really like low vibe roommates and friends and everything in my life was just like horrible. Everything was bad, like financially, career, mentally and emotionally, my mental health was like down the drain. I, I was not in a good mental space. I was depressed. I was just not doing well on any front. So then in 2021, this is when it all came to a, a crux i don't know if that's the right word but the low point the low the rock bottom of my story okay just go in the back seat koa just make yourself comfortable <laughs> oh i have a fanny pack back there nice um anyways so 2021 i am in a hotel room and i overhear my boyfriend at the time in the other room he didn't know that I could hear him, but I could because the walls were thin and he was explaining to his friend how he was cheating on me and how he had like women all around the world and he traveled a lot and like he would just go hang out with all these ladies in all these different places. And I remember hearing this and just being so devastated and so absolutely crushed. Like that was... That was probably like the worst moment of my life. And the reason it was so bad was because it was a secret relationship and I hadn't told anyone about him. Like nobody knew about him. Um, so if I was to call up my mom or my friend or whatever, they would be like, what the heck are you talking about? Like you have a boyfriend? How have I never heard about this guy? Like. I was just so afraid of people's judgment. I was so scared of what people would think of me. So I never told anybody and I was just completely alone. Like I had never been so alone in my life and especially facing one of the hardest things I've ever faced, facing it completely alone. I was just devastated. And I remember like I could hear their conversation and I just was going crazy. I was absolutely losing it. I couldn't stand being in that hotel room. so. I left the hotel and I was walking around the city just crying. It was late at night. It was probably like midnight. And I was just like, what is wrong with me? How is this my life? How have I create, created this? How did I get myself into this mess? Like, and the thing is, is I knew that I did it to myself too, because like I didn't tell anyone about the relationship. So I had no one to blame but myself for facing this on my own and I remember just like walking around the city crying and being like it's probably not safe for me to be walking around this city at midnight alone as a sad young girl so I walked into this other random hotel and I was just like sobbing in a corner on the floor of the lobby and these like employees came up to me and they were like are you okay like can we help you do you want us to call someone and I I was just like no I'm okay just just if I can just sit here for a few minutes and it was just horrible. And I remember that night, I knew, I knew that was the worst that my life was going to get. I was like, this is the moment of change. This is the moment of my initiation. This is my turning point. Something is going to change from here. I don't know what it is. I don't know how it's going to change, but I know that it will because I, I will never be in this space again ever like I made such a firm decision to never be in that situation again like 
it was so intense. So I was like, this is never going to be me again, ever. So that was my dark night of the soul. Um, the next day, I started reading the book Becoming Supernatural by Dr. Joe Dispenza. I read this book in two days, in less than two days. And I remember reading it and just feeling like I already knew it deep within my soul, but I needed someone to teach it to me to activate it. And it's as if I was like coming home to the truth and like I knew that everything he was teaching was true. And so I immediately, like that day, I started meditating every day. I did the same one hour long meditation because I was too broke to buy any other meditations. Like, I don't know if I mentioned, I literally had no money. I was, I was broke and I didn't have any money coming in. And that was the number one thing that I wanted to manifest and change in my life was like my finances. So I started meditating every day. I stopped watching Netflix for hours every night. Um, I started like saying affirmations and having intentions. Um, and within two or three months, my whole life changed. I moved to California. I had I manifested a new career, a new job where I was making more money than I had ever made before. And it was such a chill, easy job that was everything that I had wanted. And I manifested all new friends and a new boyfriend. Um, literally, it was just like everything that I had wanted came true within just a few months. And I was just so grateful and so happy that I was able to turn my life around. Like. I was just so grateful. Since then, I have turned my life around and changed my entire life more times than I can count. I've changed careers multiple times. I've manifested large amounts of money. I've manifested boyfriends and different friends and working with certain people and certain opportunities and just magical, mystical experiences, things that are completely unexplicable, like witnessing complete glitches in the matrix of life, things that I never would have dreamed of like two, three years ago. And over the course of these last couple of years, beyond my initial spurt of like meditating every day, I've also gotten into other spiritual practices such as EFT tapping and fascia maneuvers and both of these are extremely powerful ways to deprogram and remove energetic blocks and reprogram and rewire your subconscious mind. It everything I do is about rewiring the subconscious mind because the subconscious mind makes up over 95% of who you are and what you attract like we're literally just energy fields that are constantly attracting and manifesting whether we're aware of it or not that's what's happening so that's why i'm so obsessed with subconscious programming and rewiring is because that is how i've completely changed my life and continue to change it and continue to manifest things over and over that are like people a lot of the things i don't even tell people i don't even tell my closest friends because i know that people would be like, what? I don't believe you. <laughs> like, they're, they're just so crazy and inexplicable. Um, so anyways, because of all of this, I am obviously so passionate and so just so passionate about subconscious rewiring and how it can change your life. And so that's why I've created a, an exclusive monthly membership community. It's called the Dream Life Accelerator. And I designed it to skyrocket you, shoot you up into your dream life ASAP as quick as possible. I just want to help as many people as I can remove the blocks, like help you remove the blocks between you and your dreams, between you and your goals and your desires and reprogram and rewire your subconscious mind so that you can attract your dreams and your desires as quickly as possible without having to go through months and years of trial and error and not having a support system and not knowing if you're doing it right or if you're on the right track. Like 
I just want to help guide people who want a better life to attract it. Because another thing about me is that I have lived the life of grinding and working super hard and that didn't work for me. And so now I just want to help people manifest and attract the things that they desire rather than working harder and overworking and burning out. So if this resonated with you at all, consider joining my exclusive community. Um, it's linked in the description below. It's super cool. So we're going to have a call once a week where it's specifically laid out ahead of time where we have a specific intention where it's like we're manifesting money we're magnetizing to money we are releasing blocks um standing between you and manifesting dream relationship just like all the things that you would want health wealth career success friendships um deeper peace deeper clarity deeper connection to the universe anything and everything that just improves your quality of life that is what we're tuning into and I will be guiding each call personally, doing fascia, EFT, guided journaling, specific visualizations and meditations, like literally just the, <laughs> the perfect elixir, the perfect cocktail for manifesting your dreams. So that's what's happening in the community. There's also going to be a private community chat where we can all support each other, ask questions, be there for one another. And every single call that we have is going to be recorded um, and stored in a vault that you will have access to so that you can do these videos, do these practices on a daily basis. So that's my story. Um, please give this video a thumbs up, comment something that resonated with you, and I hope to see you in my exclusive membership community. I love you guys so much and have a great rest of your day.